Geeks, Tim Tibbetts with MajorGeeks.com, and today we're going to take a look at stuck Windows updates. Before you get rolling, try the Install Now button. Usually fails. It's probably why you're here. And if you haven't, reboot maybe twice, maybe three times. I've heard it works. It's not how I roll. We're going to go into PowerShell. We're going to stop the service, and we're going to delete the folder or rename it so that all the Windows updates are done. No harm done here. Windows will automatically look and redetect for you. So we're going to need a couple things open. We're going to need File Explorer at some point, and we're going to need PowerShell or Command Prompt. Windows 10, I like the Windows X and Windows PowerShell admin. So first thing we're going to want to do is stop the Windows Update service. I'll keep the story right here so that you can kind of see what we're doing, and I will link to it in the description. So as you can see, we want to do net stop just make sure you type it all right, W-U-A-U-S-E-R-V. And as you can see, it is stopping. Now, we're going to go down to File Explorer, and we're going to run down into the Windows directory and find Software Distribution. Right there. Now what we want to do is you can rename it anything you want. I prefer a dot or just a space and old so you can recognize it. You will need administrator's permission. There you go. So now the folder is gone. There we go. Now, let's go back in and let's start back up the Windows Update service. W-A-U-S-E-R-V. Here she comes. And it's up and running. You can now close PowerShell or the command prompt. And as you can see, as promised, the folder is back. And once that you know the software distribution folder is back, you can come in here and you can actually delete the .old folder once you know everything's working okay, just to be safe. So once again, if you're trying to get this, don't forget the Windows Update Troubleshooter. There's a link here in the article. And I think my problem started when I disabled driver updates, but there was one pending and I didn't know about it. And now I think I'm stuck with a stupid thing. So I'm going to actually try and install it to fix my problem. System Restore could help you. Uh, a couple other things, but really doing this right here, at least it essentially resets your Windows update. So I'll take a look here. Now, once I reboot, this will be gone. So, and anything that needs to be done will be, it's almost like resetting your Windows update. So pretty neat, pretty easy to do. Not much harm you can do doing it. And again, worst case scenario, run the Windows update troubleshooter. There you go. That is how we fix pending Windows updates. Easy, easy, easy. All right. As always, thank you for watching. Click the subscribe, you know, blah, blah, blah. See you next time.